Now to the manhunt underway for the killer of a University of Mississippi College student. A 21 year old student was found dead not far from campus. Officials believe she was the victim of foul play. Marcus Moore is there at Ole Miss with the latest on this. Good morning, Marcus. Cecilia, good morning. We know that Ali Costal was attending summer school here at Ole Miss and was teaching fitness and police believe she was murdered. And this morning they're in the middle of a manhunt for her killer. This morning, a multi-agency manhunt is underway as concern grips this small Mississippi college town. Authorities hunting for a suspect in the apparent murder of Ali Costal. The 21-year-old senior at the University of Mississippi was found dead over the weekend, nearly 20 miles off campus. A deputy on routine patrol finding her body near Sardis Lake in neighboring Harmontown. And this is what it looks like around the lake where authorities found her body. You can see a number of trees, also winding roads get you here. And I've only seen a few houses, so this area is very remote. Costal was studying marketing at the university where the deepening mystery has classmates on edge. It makes you want to be more careful. I go out and go to Sardis with my friends all the time, and I run around my neighborhood at nighttime. Like, you don't, there's people out there you don't know. You feel like you can trust everybody, but maybe you can't. Her father, Keith Costell, revealing on Facebook how authorities delivered the terrible news, writing, we were visited by the Sunset Hills, Missouri police, who communicated to us that our beautiful dear Alexandria Alley Costell was the victim of a homicide. While the Lafayette County Sheriff's Department is not releasing many details of the investigation, its investigators are following several leads and have confirmed its belief that foul play was involved. In a statement, the University of Mississippi offering its condolences, writing, we extend our deepest sympathy to her family, friends, and classmates, and stand ready to support them during this time. Her sorority sisters also paying tribute on social media, writing, she was the brightest light and always had a smile on her face. She truly was a ray of sunshine. And her high school friends near St. Louis remembering her bright personality. Allie was just very fun and outgoing, very friendly girl. I'm just going to miss how the fact that she was always there for me if I needed to talk to her. And it's the unknown that is adding to the sense of concern for classmates and also residents in this area that is quieter right now because most students are away for the summer. In the meantime, the Mississippi Bureau of Investigations is helping in the search for answers. Cecilia. Okay, Marcus, such a sad story there. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.